Hello everyone, this is True Hitware, and welcome to my new series, Let's Play Silhouette Mirage. Uh, Silhouette Mirage is a treasure game, as you probably saw in the intro video. Uh, originally released on the Sega Saturn uh, in Japan, and then ported over by Working Studios to the PlayStation original one uh, in the United States, and Canada and other places, in English. Anyway, um... So I suppose the best way to describe Silhouette Mirage is that it sort of plays as a cross between uh, Gunstar Heroes and Ikaruga. I guess you'll see a bit more once we actually get into the game. Uh, here on the main menu we've got New Game, Load Game, that's pretty obvious. It uses either memory card slot, but you can only have one save per card, so yeah, you gotta watch out there. Though of course you could move all the saves over onto the other card and then just always only use the one card to load and you can have as many as you want. But Anyway, um, options, there's a number of options in here, but all of them except Vibration on or off are locked until uh, we finish all the endings. And this is, you can see here, there, we have zero of five paths completed, and some information about the main character there. <laughs> um, so yes, there's technically four actual endings to the game, but then there's one other thing that you can do during the game that counts as another ending, even though it's in the middle and it doesn't actually stop it and you continue on. So you would actually get two endings on that path, but um, the only difference for the endings is right near the very end of the game is where it splits, so you don't need to worry about that for a while. Um, anyway, I'll just get started and I can start explaining it off of there. And I can't remember which memory card I should be saving to. I think one. Yeah. Oh well. Anyway, we start out with a little tutorial program here. Um, if this is your first, if this is a new game, basically. And here we find out that our main character's name is Shina Nara Shina. Um, as it turns out, working designs in translating from Japanese to English changed a whole lot of names because practically everything in this game is some sort of biblical reference. So I'm going to be uh, showing, I'm going to be putting a little thing on the screen somewhere to show original Japanese translated names and their uh, si significance in biblical history or whatever <laughs> as necessary. Anyway, um, I, I don't remember all of them off the top of my head, so I'm not going to talk about them particularly. Well, if I remember one, like... Uh, I can't remember her middle name, but her first name is Sinna. Like, Sinner person. I don't know. Anyway, now let's just keep going. Here we're getting a little backstory from China herself. There's, a, there's some little music glitches in the PlayStation version, apparently, if you notice that. <laughs> And here we meet the second character of the game, uh, Gehenna. It's a computer system uh, directly connected to China. Uh, it says a lot more stuff in the actual manual than it does in the game. Kind of NES era there, but... And I'll just go through the little tutorial thing here to show off all her moves and everything. We're controlling the bottom one there, the top one's just demonstrating. This one, this one right here is showing the uh, basic... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> the basic mechanic of the game. As you can see up there at the top, um, enemies come in two different types, either silhouette, or Mirage. Mirage, come on. Tri stop tripping. There we go. Or Mirage. 
And Shina is also either Silhouette or Mirage, and you switch between them depending on which direction you're facing. So if you're facing towards the right, then you're one type, uh, Mirage by default, and if you're facing towards the left, then you're Silhouette by default. Now you'll see what I mean by, by default in a minute. Um, so, and then all enemies are either one or the other, and if you shoot them with uh, shots of the same type, then you get spirit energy out of them, which you can't... So you, you can't kill them, but you can drain their spirit energy, so they can't use their more powerful attacks, and you get your spirit back. And if you shoot them with the opposite type, then they take damage and die. So right now, I'm Mirage, I'm shooting the silhouette guy, and he dies. And he drops something. And then this is... So we'll just dash, I don't need to show that. Sliding. It's kind of a neat little move. I will probably never use that except by... Well, maybe. I don't know. Maybe I might use it, but probably it'll just be an accident, because it's not overly useful. There's a lot of moves that you don't really use all that much, but there, there are a few of them. And I'll just skip that one. And tap down to crap. Crouch. That one I will e might use a little bit, just mostly in one part of the game, but it's not overly useful either, but it has uses. Yeah, and yeah, there you go. That That's a pretty decent move right there. If you're crouching, you can do that. Um, I'll show that one. And you see, that does a little attack of the same attribute that you're using, by whichever direction you're facing. This one is... An interesting move, but I will probably never use it because it uses a full third of your spirit energy, and, well, it's more useful if you have more weapons, and I don't usually carry that many weapons myself. Um, but basically what it does is you use one third of your uh, spirit energy, and then you do a big attack that attacks various nearby enemies for a certain period of time, and I think it makes you temporarily invincible while you're doing it. Um, yeah, I need to show it. It's shown enough times. This one is a very useful uh, move right here. If you hold circle button, you get a little reflector shield there. That's either Mirage or Silhouette based on your attribute. And you can reflect back he was using green shots, which are normal shots there. You can reflect back either normal shots or shots of the same attribute. So like if a Mirage enemy came and was shooting Mirage bullets at me and I had the reflector up, then as long as the reflector, it actually hit the reflector and not me, then it would reflect off and turn into normal shots and then go back at them. And I'll talk about normal a little more later. Um, or you can grab onto enemies, I don't need to just show that, because the rest, the next few moves use that, so... Uh, you can grab an enemy and then punch them with your hair. <laughs> and then they will drop, th well, drop money. And money is good, it lets you buy things at stop shops. And you can just do quick ones and they'll, they'll drop small coins, or you can charge it up and they'll drop a bigger coin. And I think they have the same amount of money either way you do it, but it's a little more effective, I think, to just grab the bigger coins. And then there's these other moves. They don't actually damage them, though, but they can be useful for certain things. And I know there's at least one boss, which I'm going to be using There's various throwing moves like crazy. Because that's actually how you beat him. And there again, you can toss them left or right. And this one is useful in one boss fight, that's about it. You can throw an enemy straight down to the ground and that stuns them for a moment, I guess. Other than that, it's not really useful, except for the one specific thing that they're used for. And then there's that, I... I don't know. <laughs> we've, got, we've got all this other stuff, I don't see the point in it. Really. I, I don't think I have ever purposely used that. This one is honestly completely useless. You push triangle and then you switch which side is silhouette and which side is mirage. 
Which sounds good in a way, except that there's a lot of things that expect you... Well, not a lot, but there's a few things that it seems to be set up expecting you to have the default Silhouette Mirage set up. And it takes one-third of your spirit energy, which is totally not worth it for something completely pointless like this, really. And that's about everything here. So we're done with the tutorial there. And we get 100 credits to start, that's nice. And she's just reminding us we have to find the Edo system and return the world to normal. And it looks like someone's trying to break into wherever we are. What's going on? Two classes, Silhouette and Mirage. Well, we already saw that in the tutorial, but... Dangerous enemies, okay. <laughs> Some boom, yeah, I'll say. Yeah, that's it for the tutorial, and the little intro area, and you, they're generally between areas you get to uh, save.